Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a really interesting portable display which I've tested in four different operating systems Mac OS, Android, Windows and Samsung DeX And we are back. So first of all, really interesting. I was curious to see how it behaved. And before I received it, I was reading the specifications, which I will leave somewhere down below in the video description so that you can read because there are just numbers and specifications that you don't want to hear right now, but you want to check them out and see if it fits your needs. Now, first of all, in terms of build quality, really great. The only thing that you might say that it's not perfect, it's its thickness. Uh, it's not the thinnest display that we have used probably not the thinnest that you have seen but in terms of build quality in terms of the technology in terms of the image quality in terms of everything this if it's a weak point in my opinion it's a weak point that i would gladly take it to have all the other advantages and it's not as thick but as you can see looks like a tablet with a really nice design now talking about design it comes with this protective cover which is really cool great build quality once again overall and it has some magnets that we can use to attach the uh, screen and we can then choose the angles that we want we want we have uh, two or three different angles and then of course we can put it on the table and use it just like a drawing digital board and that's one of the things that i didn't use because i'm not a artist and usually i don't take notes but uh or i do take notes but on paper but on this particular case if you are one of those then you can use it with the touch screen functionality now in terms of specifications really quickly things that really matter is this is 14 inches with an ips technology which means that in terms of contrast and brightness really great colors in terms of the angles as you can see by some images also it doesn't lose the colors really fast it has great angles and of course always have in mind that the camera lens and the lightning will always give us a worse experience than looking at it directly now in terms of the build quality overall this is what we will find a great display which i have no issues at all in terms of recommending if the size is a factor that you want 14 inches will give a great display which i'll show you in just a few moments how and if the colors and quality of image is something that you value then this is a great purchase for the price that it costs that i will leave links down below now in terms of connectivity you will see that in one side we will have a mini hdmi connection so we can connect to any display that has a hdmi connectivity by the way as you saw in the intro all the accessories come included we also have two usb type c ports one of which is uh, usb 3.1 generation 2 and the other one more targeted for the power and also a usb otg now on the other side we will find a 3.5 millimeter jack and two buttons which will be used for the menu options which you will find uh, volume brightness contrast and a few more options that you will see on the screen so that basically and sorry about the redundancy the basic settings of any display we will find right over here now it has some built-in speakers and i would say that for the daily usage yeah just fine if you want to listen music with some uh, fidelity then i would suggest hearing using earbuds uh, or headphones connected either through Bluetooth to the main device that you are using or and then use the 3.5 millimeter jack which will allow us to have a pass through so the sound will come from HDMI and will pass through from the 3.5 to the headphones that we choose to use probably more interesting is how will we use this display and to me first of all uh, it comes to my mind as a second display now for several years that I don't know what it is to work with just one display if you watch my setup I have two huge display well you're one huge and one medium display and it has 
has been like this since ever for my occupations as a teacher and also motion graphics designer and even my hobby here on YouTube. I always, always use more than one display for tasks like simple tasks, browsing the web, getting data and then put it on a Excel sheet or a Word or something like that. When I have to grade my students, I always use an Excel sheet and things like that. So it's great to have a second display and I did test it out with my MacBook Pro. So this is a really interesting portable setup. I can take my laptop anywhere. just. Take it out of the bag with one single cable because I've got Thunderbolt 3 or USB Type-C right over there. Connect it to my MacBook Pro, start working. And that is it. This is a great experience when we have multitask. So this is the first thing that comes to my mind. But let's say that you have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G, which is what I'm using on the Android side at this moment, besides my iPhone 11 Pro. And you want to connect your phone, which is even more portable than any laptop, then we just need to connect our phone. And in this particular case, with this particular phone, we will have two choices, which is to use the Android version for mobile phone or pure Android, as you want to call it. And we will be able to do everything, productivity, gaming, and use the touch screen and so on and so forth. So we can do a lot. And this example will show any phone which has Android without the Samsung DeX that we will see in just a few moments. But that's just to say, if you have any other phone, you can connect it easily. I would just say that you will need a USB Type-C, which most newer phones have that connection. Now, on the particular case of the Samsung with Samsung DeX, then the experience comes even a step further. Uh, I've shared here on the channel my experience with Samsung DeX. I do love the way that it works. And honestly, it is a almost perfect setup. I have the phone on my jacket. I've got the display on my bag. I have to work, just connect the phone, connect the display, and that is it. And to achieve a higher level of productivity, for me at least, I need a keyboard and a mouse and that's it. I can do a lot of work only with a phone, portable display, keyboard and mouse doing the job, replacing a full fledged laptop. And this is awesome, this advantage in technology. Now, you guys know me and I was really, really curious because we do review a lot of Android TV boxes here on the channel. At least we have done a lot so far. I haven't accepted I'm doing one right now uh, because it has a few things that uh, interest you and myself, but that's another topic. Now, I did try with one of those Android TV boxes and what I can say is that the touch screen is not there. And this was my main question. Now, I can get out of it a great experience in terms of the display, colors, contrast, and I can watch Netflix and so on and so forth. So just great. But I was asking myself, is it possible to have touch screen? And no. I also tested out with the Minix U22XJ. You can see the review here on the channel. It's a great beast of a machine. And it has a USB Type-C output. So that was the reason that I tested out. But even though it doesn't work, I did try all the connectivity available. USB Type-C, HDMI with OTG connected and uh, the second USB Type-C for power, but it seems that Android or this kind of firmware for Android does not support the touch screen that we have on this display. Finally, Windows 10. I did test out on a Minix mini computer with Windows 10, the J50C4 Max, which is something that we have reviewed here on the channel. A great mini computer if you are looking for one. And this one has a USB Type-C uh, output and I did connect to that and it will power the display. But to, be, to have the full functionality of the uh, touch screen, we will have to get the USB Type-C for power and the HDMI for the image so that the USB Type-C transfers not only power but also the connectivity that's necessary to have the uh, touchscreen enabled. But the experience was flawless, extremely useful if you have a Windows computer that you want to troubleshoot something and you don't want to connect a mouse or keyboard or something like that, then you just pick this display, go to your machine, bam, connect it, use your hands to write anything and that's it. Now I also tested out with a regular desktop PC and this rules out 
everything because at this moment I can tell you that any computer with Windows 10 will work with this and the result was as you saw on the images just a great experience so the example is like this if you have a warehouse with I don't know many machines you just need to take this display you can take a smaller one but I do believe that this size is great because we can see everything we can touch anything that we want with precision and we can just troubleshoot anything without mouse or keyboard just cable connect go connect go connect that's it that's it that's the message that i can pass and guys basically this is it a great display the only thing that i would say weak points if you ask me would be probably the thickness which to me it's not that bad it's a thick display but high quality totally worth it in terms of the price to quality also the sound that comes out from the speakers don't expect any miracles from any of this kind of device it's great if we want to hear something sounds the operating system sounds and things like that but for music fidelity and movies fidelity then i would suggest to use your earbuds or headphones and that is it and guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up which is really appreciated right over here my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one